Jeez, this place is pretty nice. Stevens Park Lake. Okay, I see. Looks like there's some electrical boxes over there. They even got porta potties back here. I'm gonna go back and check those electrical boxes. Here's my campground for today. The only place there is electric is in this spot where I'm at. I think there's five different hookup spots. But they're all really close to each other. So see, you can see there's one over there. And I'm kind of hogging up two spots, I guess you could say. But I've got my own personal garbage. I've got my own personal picnic table. It has 30 amp and 15 amp hookups. And here's what I'm looking at across the way. There's oil pump jacks everywhere. So we're very close to Eunice, New Mexico, which is almost right on the border with Texas. Looks like the only thing they really got here, or the only limit, is on catfish. You can only take two of them. As far as the rules go, you need to have your dogs leashed, and there are no boats or open fires. No swimming either. Look at that. Check out this beautiful little spot for a picnic. Right underneath this big tree. And the water looks extremely clean. This must be fed by a well. This place is far enough off the highway, so there's, well, with the wind blowing today, I don't hear any road noise at all, but even if the wind was coming from the highway, all the way to the back here, there'd be very little noise. Here's another spot where fresh, clean water, obviously from a well, is being pumped into here. And I've seen three of these so far. I'm on the other side of the lake now. They've got a picnic table on the far side of the lake as well. Picnic area with two grills. Garbage is all around. There's my RV on the other side over there. I don't know if this place is gonna be busy or not. I don't know how many people are gonna show up, if I'm gonna get any neighbors or what, but this place is peaceful. It's like Texas, where there's always kind of the smell of petroleum in the air. But I'm used to it. That smell doesn't bother me at all. Here's the grills. Look pretty new. They also have 15 amp power here at the picnic site. They have an on and off switch for the lights. And I'm guessing that those lights don't come on until it's dark out. One thing I have noticed is there's some big flies around here. Some big turd flies. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful place. There isn't really much more to say about it. There's a poop fly right there, just landed on my arm. Look at the old farm duck waddling away. Here's the donut section. There are plenty of coyotes around here. They must have got a kill because I heard them yipping and yapping before I went to bed. The only issue possibly for some people is maybe the smell of petroleum in the air. It's not that strong. This morning it, it was a little bit strong when there was no wind inside of the RV. I didn't even know how it got like that inside of the RV, but I'm used to it. It really doesn't bother me that bad. You do get used to it. And it's gonna smell like this all through Texas, so I might as well get used to it now. All right, so I decided to go golfing. They have a golf course basically right next to me. There's my RV right over there. This hole right here is a par five, 517 yards. So, oh boy. I'm just gonna swing nice and easy. There is absolutely nobody here. I mean, I am the only person on this golf course. Right now it's about 55, 60 degrees. The sun's shining. There's just a gentle breeze. It's so perfect. Like I couldn't ask for a better day. So I'm just gonna, since I can't play any tennis anyways, and I don't have anybody to play with, I might as well put my arm to the test, you know? You can't beat it guys. $6 for nine holes, green fees on the weekdays. And I think seniors and, and kids are even cheaper. So just wanted to show you that. That's another plus to staying where I'm staying here in Enos. I stayed here three nights and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. I did get a neighbor that pulled in, if you can see through the window out behind me. And there are a couple more van spots, just for your information, on the back side of the lake. And there is a 15 amp plug-in that I noticed a vanner was using back there. So. Just a little heads up, it's a good little van spot back there. 
If you're passing through and you need a place to stay, you're going to love this place. The only issue you might take is there's a lot of oil jacks, a lot of oil derricks around. There's a sulfur smell when, when, when the wind dies off and everything in the mornings. There can get to be a real strong egg sulfur smell. Not a real big deal. I'll trade it for the peace and quiet. I can handle that. But anyway, love this place. If you guys ever come through, check it out. It's beautiful. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.